Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. And what is cloud computing? See, um, cloud computing has two words to it. Cloud actually refers to the internet. Access to internet is what cloud refers to. Okay. And what computing refers to is computing refers to everything that what you know anybody in this world would require in the field of computing. Now, what and all do we require in computing? Pretty much, if you notice, um, everything in the world today operates over cloud. Say, for example, you have servers on cloud. We'll get to the point of understanding what a server is. How is it different from the laptop that we use? Okay, so servers in the cloud, if you want, you can get it from uh, cloud computing services. If you need storage, you have it there. If you want database, it's available. And there are different types of databases, relational database, NoSQL database. We'll get to those details later, okay? So like this, right from servers to hard drive spaces, which is storage, databases, which you must have heard of what a database is. If not, we'll talk about that. And there are a lot of other services that are available in cloud. So in today's world, everything that is running on a computer, if you want, you can go ahead and get it from the internet. So internet is called as cloud. Computing is anything with reference to compute, compute services is cloud computing. Now it is very similar to the concept of uh, how you hire a car. So in case you need to take your children out and your husband is not there, you know, you would rent a car, won't you? Yes. Okay. So how you would rent a car? You will use some go app? To... Yes. Okay. And you will go ahead and choose the car that you want? You will yes. say, say, this is my soul, this is my destination, and you will pay at the end of the journey. That's it. Exactly the yes. same thing that is, uh, I mean, happens in cloud computing also. All you need to do is, first of all, when you uh, hire a car, you, you give your phone number or whatever, and you register. They get your details. Here, for cloud computing, you need to go ahead and have an access to a website. Okay. So this is a website, you need to get access to it, for which you need to create what is called as a, a account with them, okay? So this is the name of the website. I'll, I'll tell you how to go ahead and do this. First, we need to go ahead and create a, an account, okay? So that they know who is using it. Uh, so that they get uh, the details of your, I mean, they'll ask you for your email address. You need to give your name, okay, whatever account name you want. And you verify your email, you proceed. There is a lot of questions it will ask you. Once they finish asking your questions, they will go ahead and ask you for a, uh, your credit card details. You need to have a credit card for you to practice, okay? Now, why do they get this uh, credit card details? Because... See, not everything on cloud computing is free. Most of it is free for the first one year, all right? So after you go ahead and get access to it, you will be signing in like I'm doing right now. So I've already registered. I mean, obviously I did it a long time back. I'd give a password. This password of yours, you're never supposed to share it with anybody. And then okay. I'll explain to you how you should securely connect like this. For example, nobody else other than me can log in with my account, even if they know my password. That's why I have a app on my phone called as Authy. Authy has given me that code, you know, two time code. This is okay. something that we have been all using, right? Even to log into your uh, Gmail, for example, you can have multi-factor authentication. So you just saw that I logged in using 
um, this, what my phone was necessary. Okay, and I had to use an app and I'll explain to you how to use that app later. So once this happens, right now what I'm going to show you is how easily somebody can get access to compute resources on cloud. So uh, I will not be explaining to you all the small, small details for now. I just want you to go ahead and sit back, relax, and see how easy it is to get anything on cloud. Okay. Pretty much what you're what learning you is you are learning how to use this website to get every necessary compute resource that they give you on rent. So cloud computing is where the compute, uh, I mean, the service provider, which is AWS, is allowing customers to take services on rent. Okay. <clears throat> so here you have uh, all the services that are mentioned. So if you click on all services, it will show all the services from A to Z. Okay. This is one way of classifying. Okay. So A to Z, anything in computer science you want, sure. you can rent it. So I'm not going to speak about each one of them because that's a lot of services that are available. <clears throat> they have classified it uh, in a manner so that it is useful for customers. For example, nowadays, you must have heard of um, machine learning or uh, you must have heard of uh, robotics. Yeah, these are yeah. Two very common things which anybody hears. So whatever is necessary for machine learning, these are all services that are available. So whoever is doing machine learning, if they want to use, they can go ahead and click on any of these services and use it. You get the point? So like that, they yes. have categorized it based on the industry, which a customer would go ahead and use. So the, this is the compute part of cloud. I want you to understand that. Okay. So, uh, so once you give your credit card details and stuff like that, they will give, give you what's called as an AWS account ID. This one. This is the username you had chosen. Okay. So I've chosen to use this username, connect only to. And for this AWS account, they have given a unique account ID. This is a 12 digit unique account ID which will be assigned to you, okay? So keep this information with you and uh, you will be able to see the information about your billing information coming here, okay? So once a month, you should take a look at it and in case there's any bills that you need to pay, you have to pay. To be honest with you, if you use this particular service carefully, you will not be getting any kind of a bill, okay? For the first one year. But you need to be careful when you're using it, okay? So it will go ahead and tell. You can also keep a budget and say, hey, I don't want to spend more than $1 for one month. So I've kept a budget like that, where I would say, hey, I'm not willing to pay more than $1. See? This, okay. is, this is how much I have uh, kept as a budget. So I will not be spending more than this, if, if at all it reaches anywhere close, I'll be getting an email which says, you're going overboard or we are forecasting that you're going more than you know, what you intend to use. So that's how this budget also helps. Okay, so you can keep a budget and use, which is very, very necessary. Fine, so um, just for you to get an understanding why cloud computing is such a craze, say, Right now, I don't have anything other than my laptop and an internet connection, okay? If I want, I can go ahead and get myself a server, which is called as a virtual server, obviously. It is not a physical server, a virtual server in any part of the world. See, this is only the US, this is Asia, okay? So like this, across the globe, I can get myself a server. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.